Today we're going to be hearing from two locally based entrepreneurial businesses in the field of research and trend forecasting. It's very easy in the regular daily flow of business to um, forget how much things change. And I just wonder when you all have your management meetings where I'm sure you talk about sales, revenue, net profit, etc. I wonder how much time you actually are devoting to looking at what is going on with the, uh, the customer in the organisation and the people that you're actually serving. Research is a, a really important thing for us and for our clients actually. We, we've kind of undertaken some very rudimentary market research ourselves. Um, but I think this is, is giving me lots of tips and advice really on exactly what we should be doing with customers currently, with historical customers and with those obviously that we're trying to attract. There's an awful lot of instinct within business which I think is incredibly important and has a role because it also helps with creativity. However, getting some fact to support that instinct can help you make much um, sounder decisions going forward as well and leads on to the point of ensuring return on investment. So what we get asked all the time about sampling is how many people should I talk to? What becomes an okay sample? And the analogy is that if you have a pan of soup, do you need to eat the whole pan to know the flavour? No, you don't. You need a bowl full, you need a cup full, and pretty much you'll have a good idea of what the flavour of that soup is. And it's the same principle when you're looking at your customer base. You need a good enough bowl full to make sure you've got the flavour right. Um, very, very interesting in terms of predicting trends and forecasting trends. Um, and also, I mentioned today, was about how we treat our clients and learning from our clients rather than just using our own judgement, which obviously has been quite a clear message from today that we are guilty of that at the moment. We think we know what the client wants, but I think we just need to double check that we're hitting that mark before we formally uh, launch the service. I personally would say you'd be bonkers to launch any new idea without deeply understanding not only the consumer and what they want now, but also where the trends are coming from and what they might want in the future and therefore the direction in which you have to innovate. Insight and research is the foundation for solid and dependable forecasting. Layering forecasting on top of insight maximises the findings in your data. So if you have market research that already exists, it's a no-brainer to take that information and maximise that. So what does this tell us about the future? What will people do next? I always find the Entrepreneurs Forum events um, really great. Not only are they, they, they have fantastic speakers at the events and you always feel like you, you learn something new. Um, I, I've seen lots of familiar faces down the years at, at the Entrepreneurs Forum that are great to keep in touch with. Um, but I think that the fact that the membership is always renewing itself and refreshing itself, um, there's lots of new people to meet at these events, yeah.